All right, we're here with Iowa women's basketball head coach Tony Bazzelli here in Niagara Falls on the other side of the border here in Canada. Coach, uh, you know, first of all, tell us how things have been going for the Iowa women's basketball team this summer. First of all, welcome back, Nick. I was glad you're back. I'm very excited. You've done a wonderful job here. Um, things have been great. I mean, we've had a very seamless, smoothless trip so far. We spent yesterday at the Hope Lodge. Um, just relax and do a little zip lining, a little rope climbing. A um, bunch of different things, a little, uh, you know, car racing, everything. It's been great. It's been a great trip so far. You know, Coach, obviously you had some time. You, you brought in the recruits now. Now it's, it's summertime, but basketball's in full swing here at Iowa College. You have five exhibition games up here in Canada. Just talk to the fans about, you know, what what they can expect to see out of these uh, five games. The, 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 the practices that we've had have been fantastic. Uh, I'm really proud of the upperclassmen, first of all. They've gotten these young ladies to really you know, buy in right away and, and team-wise right away. And, and I tell you, our freshmen, they play really hard. And, and it's the most athletic group we've ever had. And it's the most talented freshman coming in group we've ever had overall from top to bottom. We have seven wonderful young ladies that play, that are very, uh, a big part of the program. One of them, unfortunately, will be out for a while, and Christina Rubin with her knee. But the other six have been great. And I tell you, I think you expect a, a group that, you know, is very interchangeable, a very up-tempo style, uh, spread the floor, attack the basket, uh, press uh, predominantly most of the game, and uh, we'll see how that works starting on Monday. Coach, what is, what's your overall expectation, maybe goal for this season? Obviously, everyone wants to win the MAC and go to the NCAA, but what are some of your goals, really? Uh, of course, and, and that's our goal. But but I think, Nick, with such a young group, you know, our, our two best players are our two sophomores, um, Alicia Powell and Demika Martinez. And, you know, we have some, you know, Sabrina Gerardo has played fantastic. Unfortunately, she's not going to play on this trip because she hit her head the last day. But she was playing great, like, like we expected her to. Um, but I think it's important, Nick, that we improve every day. And I know that's a cliche. People say, oh, improve every day. But we've got to get better every day. We've, we've got to learn to play defense better every day, learn to play offense every day better. And I think most of all, I want us to learn to play together. Because, you know, come March, we're going to have freshmen playing on the floor. It is what it is. I mean, there's no question. You know, fortunately, they're talented. And hopefully, they'll mesh with their attorneys and we'll play better. And, and, and I think if they just play better and play together every day, I, I think we have a very good team. I, I do. I, I, I'm, I'm excited. Really Coach, we talked about this before we left. You know how important it is to take a team, you know, either out of the United States and either to Canada to Europe during the summertime. You know, get those games in. Do you feel you have an advantage over some of the other teams? Well, I think we're blessed by you know Dr. Nyer, um, the support of uh, him, of course, Gene Marshall. You know, allowing us to do this. I mean, not a lot of teams get to do this when we have you know an opportunity to get better, practice, do individuals. You know, our strength and conditioning coach Ryan Carr is second to none. He's done a great job with them this summer. But I think this is very important. I, I don't know if it's an I guess it is considered an advantage. And I'm excited for that because I think this group, which is going to be freshmen, will be sophomores in their freshman year because of the time we're spending now in practice beforehand and the five games that we're going to play. I mean, I think come February, March, they'll already be in their sophomore year, which will be an advantage for us down the line. Coach, we talked about this last year when you played a lot of early games in the, in the part of the regular season. Now you get you know, five games in, I think, six days span. Is that kind of going back to everything you did last year, planning for this team? Well, we wanted, we did want to play two games here in Ontario, and unfortunately one team couldn't do that. Um, so we had to play one here, and we were only going to play three in Ottawa. But, you know, the girls came to me, and they're like, Coach, we want to play. We want to get better. We want to try, you know, you know, this new offense we're trying. We want to press more. We want to see what kind of condition we're in. And um, I know we're in great condition because of Ryan Carr. But, but I, you know what? We're going to play. Uh, we have a practice day tomorrow. Uh, we'll play on Monday. have an off day Tuesday. Yeah, and then we'll play four days in a row. And we're going to play all 12 kids that are here on this trip that are able to play. And, you know, it just gives us different combinations. I think the opponents we're playing are very good. And I want to thank them for doing that. But I, I think it's going to be a good opportunity for us.